Hello everyone, Sergeant274 here, and welcome to my initial blind playthrough series of Dark Souls 3. Uh, now, I am not going to be doing this like I have the previous games, where I record every second of my initial playthrough, because that would take forever, and I'm only able to record, uh, like, voice really sit down and record straight without interruption at night and I love this game so far and I'm not able to do that because I want to play during the day too. I took the week off work so I could play it. So, <coughs> excuse me, the cough is still here. Yay. Um, so what it's going to be is on YouTube I'm going to be splicing together highlight videos of um, my initial playthrough. But if you want to watch my full playthrough, everything I do is going to be on Twitch. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just playing through it on Twitch, taking my time, exploring, trying things out. And uh, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay my broadcast on my computer and then capture, window capture, uh, certain highlights that, uh, or lowlights <laughs> of my playthrough. Uh, edit a video and put that on YouTube. So all the future videos for Dark Souls 3 will be kind of spliced together. Uh, it's not going to be uh, this, which is all exploration and uh, you know a straight area. It's going to be tidbits here and there. So if you want to watch the. Uh, the exploration and everything I do, you can watch me on Twitch, or you can just go to my Twitch channel and pass broadcast. There will be a ton of videos of me playing Dark Souls 3. So I don't expect anyone to watch me on Twitch, honestly. Um, and that's not me trying to, you know, put myself down or lower my expectations. But there are a lot of really good streamers out there, uh, Dark Souls people, and even non traditional Dark Souls people that would be more interesting to watch um, and plus a lot of those guys need your support because they make their living doing that and I don't so um, but if you did want to check it out or stop in and say hi you're more than welcome to uh, because every time I do play this game during the day at least it's going to be just me playing and at night it's going to be me playing with him and commentary so Anyways, let's talk about the game a little bit. Um, you could, I, I tried starting off as a couple different classes. I tried the, uh, the Herald. Uh, I also tried Deprived. And I don't know, I just, I wasn't feeling it with those classes. So I just, I settled upon Assassin. And my first playthrough here, I'm a bit of the ways into it now. I've played it for two days now, I guess, uh, when I'm actually recording from when I'm talking right now. Uh, this is initial gameplay that you can see right here. But I decided on uh, the Assassin class because it, uh, not because it came with magic spook right there, but because it, uh, it was pretty good all around stats and it came with the S-Stock as a starting weapon. I absolutely love the S-Stock, although... <laughs> Although, um, you'll see in the next video, the s doesn't like that. <laughs> the, the problem with Dark Souls 3, uh, and it's not, I'm not talking about the game itself, is the fact, but I'm talking about in general, is the fact that it released last month in Japan. So there's so much knowledge already. There's People that have already beat the game, they've done it on Twitch, they've got the game plus plus plus, they've done this, they've done that, so even though this game is new for a lot of us, it's it doesn't have that worldwide, you know, freshness, which I think is really cool. We have every, everyone trying to figure out stuff together. And uh, that's a little unfortunate to me, but you know, that's how they decided to do it. So that's what we have to deal with. See here, I, I obviously can't roll 
or not roll. I obviously can't block with a shield, so I'm going to have to two-hand it here. And something I found in this game, I am... Let's see. How many bosses have I defeated now? By the way, I will attempt to capture all boss fights and put that in my kind of episodes of my first playthrough here. So, um, I don't know how many bosses I've fallen. That's a good question. Five, six? Somewhere in that area. I've been playing for a long time. Like, the exploration in this game is ridiculous. The, uh, the areas are huge for the most part. Like, the main areas are, are very large. <laughs> and there's a, a lot of branching paths that eventually tie in together or then lead to somewhere else. Um, but it is... It's a lot of fun because I really enjoy exploration. I really enjoy be try trying to be thorough. Um, here's one thing that disappointed me. This is uh, this right here is being reported on the PC, and I don't think you'll see it here. I don't know, but I had problems uh, with frame rate and um, crashing on the PC, like the. I still do, um, actually, you know, two days after they haven't released another patch. Um, but it seems, the issue seems to be that I can't, uh, the pro like the lighting, uh, like the, like, getting near bonfires and stuff like that would crash my game. Like, yeah, the first bonfire, whatever, bon well, actually, fire was interesting a little bit here. But, uh, so I had to turn the, I went on Reddit, and I had to turn the, uh, lighting effects down to low. My computer says it can handle this game on high, so I have it on high settings, except I have to manually go in every time I load up the game and turn the lighting down to low so it won't crash. And that really shouldn't happen. So. But it looks good aside from that, aside from those frame rate drops, and they're really noticeable. I think you'll probably see it here in uh, the fight coming up, so that's unfortunate. <coughs> Um, and I, my computer is not good enough to really allow me to record, stream, and play all at the same time. I tried that, and uh, it's just, it gets a little too hot, so there's me trying to parry and failing miserably, and there's my first step. <laughs> I think that's my first step. The complete fail on the parry. So, GG. Way to go. I can't even make out a starting area without time. So another thing I've noticed in this game is the quickness. However, the quickness is not on your character's part. I feel like my character moves just as quick as they did in Dark Souls 2. However, I feel that enemies move extremely quick. The quickness, the movements, the attacks, the actions, the chaining of abilities, the enemies are a lot quicker and a lot more difficult to predict than uh, Dark Souls, Demon Souls. Uh, it's a lot more along the lines of Dark Souls 2 and um, blood war for the enemies. Which is good, because Dark Souls, even Demon Souls, you know, you could, you could sit there and wait for a slow attack and then just parry all day long, which was fun, but, uh, so th this makes it a little more challenging. I'm sure the more I play, the more familiar I get, and I may, may uh, feel the same way about this as I do the other games, but it's going to take up a lot of time to play through this game uh, many times, let me tell you that, and, <coughs> and learn all the enemies' tendencies, and that's fun, that's the fun part about this. See, this the exploration, even in this little opening area, is kind of cool, so I'm really digging this game, I'm really digging some of the locations. Like I said, I'm only a couple days into it, and I spent most of the time just exploring. 
like those those areas so I haven't gotten whole uh, haven't progressed a lot however I have a lot of questions as to why some things are the way they are uh, and I don't know I, it's a blind playthrough so I'm not I'm not going for help on anything so I now I have seen this opening part up through Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, I whatever that the demo or you know, or, uh, I mean, I, I've seen that. Um, I know that the dancer. See, there's a frame rate stutter right there. I know that dancer isn't in the uh, what do you call it area where she was in the in the pl in the demo or or whatever. But and I kind of know the first boss because I've seen people play a little bit so that much is spoiled but the one thing I've never played it I haven't played it I've just seen it and playing it is a lot different than seeing it now you'll see coming up here I don't know if I did I wasn't paying attention but because I, I don't know about the uh, frame rate stuff right now um, so I turn the graphics down to medium at some point I don't know if it's here or but I thought maybe if I turn the graphics down to medium it will be it will not have these horrible frame rate, rate moments like that. Little did I know here it is I guess. Little did I know I really had to go into um uh, advanced set I had to go into advanced settings there and turn the lighting off or on low. But for the rest of this fight, at least it doesn't freeze in the middle of it and crash. So, <laughs> which I think happens when I go to Firelink after this. But anyway, here's the first, I guess, boss, tutorial boss in the game. So, I will sit back here and uh, let you watch. Alright, so there you have it. First boss of the game down. Wasn't too bad. Um, so I'm going to see you next episode, and uh, a lot of that will be commentary that was live at the time. Um, and yeah, I'll splice together some highlights and lowlights and important tidbits of my gameplay so far. So again, if you want to see full playthrough stuff, go check me out on Twitch, or watch the past broadcast, and you can see how I got to the point I did in my YouTube videos. So, alright, thanks for watching everyone, I do appreciate it, goodbye.